So hey guys, so we're gonna be plotting this function y equals x squared plus two x minus eight. First we're gonna create a table and then we're gonna convert that, transfer that to a graph. So now we are given our domain which is values from x greater than x minus four to two. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off by completing this table. So these are our independent variables. So we're going to find our dependent variables, up, which are our y. You know, an x and a y value come together to create a point. We create a, a succession or so a couple of that link them together and we get our graph. So let's get into it. So if our values are x, x squared just means that we're going to just multiply x by itself. So the first one is 4 by 4, we get 16. In. Right, minus three times minus three, that's nine, two times two, that's four, negative one times negative one is one, we know that anything times zero is zero, one times one, that's one, and two times two, that's four. So anything squared, and in our next row, we're gonna double the value of x. So we have minus four times two, that's minus eight, Minus three times two, that's minus six. Minus two times two, that's minus four. Minus one times two, that's minus two. Anything times zero is zero. One times two is two, and two times two is four. Right, so now we're gonna add these values together, and when we do that, we're gonna get the values of y. So 16 minus eight, that's eight minus eight, that gives us zero. 9 minus 6 minus 8 gives me minus 8. Four minus four, that's zero and zero minus eight, that's minus eight. Let's reach this one right quick. Nine minus six, that's three, and minus three. Three minus eight, that's minus five. One minus two, that's minus one, minus eight, that's minus nine. Anything from zero, that's minus eight. One plus two, that's three, minus five, minus eight, that's minus five. And four plus four, eight minus eight, that is zero. Now, what does that actually look like on the graph? We're gonna look at the graph application right now. So the, the function y equals x squared plus two x minus eight, the parts that we can actually wanna plot are the values for x and y. So our pair of coordinates will be minus four, zero, minus three, five, minus two, eight, minus one, nine, zero, eight, one, minus five, and two, and zero. So we're looking now at how this looks on a graph. So we have our points here, minus four and zero, minus three, and minus five, minus two, eight, et cetera, et cetera. So if you look at it now, so that's minus four and zero, and the x value goes first, minus three and minus five, minus two, eight, zero, eight, zero minus eight, one and minus five and two and zero. So remember the x and the by, x and the y value come together to give you a coordinate and this is the shape that is formed. This is a parabola or a U like shape that is formed once we actually draw that graph. There you go. A close up. So minus four, zero. Minus three minus five minus two minus eight minus one nine minus nine zero eight one minus five and two zero. So now from this graph now we can ask the other way questions. We can do find the axis of symmetry. If we notice that we have a pair of coordinates that repeat themselves, stuff like that. So we'll look at that interpretation in our follow-up video. Hope you enjoyed it, guys.